News resignation, which led to this Michigan congressman's confirmation as vice president. Highland Ford. Ford is correct. We're going to be done with more. We're going to have more academic challenge for you right after this. I not only use all the brains I have, but all I can borrow. There are risks you have to take as a business owner. Insurance isn't one of them. Rely on the knowledge of Westfield Insurance and a trusted advisor, your independent agent. Represented locally by leading independent insurance agents, Westfield Insurance is very proud to bring you Academic Challenge because supporting youth is another way we're protecting your future. Date rape. Teen abduction. Sexual assault. Every six minutes, a woman is attacked in the United States. Don't be one of them. I want to know what to do and how to, how to handle myself. It's a wake-up call for all women, and we're on your side with simple self-defense techniques that women of all ages can learn to protect themselves and survive an assault. Something happened right now, I, I could do something. Advice for women of all ages that could save your life. Sunday at 11 on News Channel 5. Let's welcome and meet our team advisors from Ashland, Gloria Mario Cort, from Highland, Barb Odd and Andrew Dodd, and from McKinley, Tim Smith. It's time to get back underway with our Hot Picks round. One at a time, I'm going to ask each team eight questions or correct responses worth 20 points with no penalty for a wrong answer. Any team answering all eight questions correctly will receive 25 bonus points. First up is team number one, McKinley. I will ask Jeff, the captain from Ashland, to pick your questions, one, two, or three. A three. Three it will be. Victoria, AJ, and Alex, you don't have to buzz in, and I'm going to start with this question. The biblical phrase, Joseph served in the court of the Pharaoh, could suggest that the Egyptians played what modern sport associated with Venus and Serena Williams? Tennis. That is correct. As early as 1750, colonists in Virginia had built a mine to dig for what mineral fuel that comes in bituminous and anthracite varieties? Coal. Coal is correct. Edward bulwer lytton knew how to end his book spectacularly. His best-known work, The Last Days of Pompeii, ends with the eruption of what famous volcano? Mount Vesuvius. Mount Vesuvius is correct. Take a look at the monitor, please, for a science question. Which of these terms refers to the, converse, to the conversion of free nitrogen to ammonia? Fixation. That is correct. It was to protest high taxes that what 11th century English woman rode naked through the streets of Coventry? No answer. Lady Godiva. Oceana is the name of the grim totalitarian empire where Winston Smith lives in what George Orwell novel with a year as its title? 1984. That is correct. Take a look at the monitor, please, for a math question. Please simplify this expression. Five, A squared. That is correct. Robert Clive, who extended the British Empire into India, was born exactly 33 years before what great English admiral who later preserved that empire by winning the Battle of Trafalgar? Nelson. Nelson is correct. Well done, McKinley. Our second team this evening, Ashland is up. I'm going to call on Tina from Highland to pick their questions. Which shall it be? Two. Two. Now remember, Felipe, Jeff, and Brian, I have your questions here and you don't have to buzz in. Ronald Ross was quoting the Bible when he said, O oh death, where is thy sting after discovering that malaria is usually carried by what insect? Mosquito. Mosquito is correct. The Richardson ground squirrel, nicknamed the Fickertail, is native only to what northern plain state whose capital city is Bismarck? North Dakota. That is correct. A stamp issued in 1991 pictured the Viking orbiter as it approached what red planet, where it found no evidence of the so-called canals described Mars. by earlier astronomers? Mars. Mars is correct. Take a look at the monitor, please, for a science question. Which of these is the principal means by which oxygen is carried in human blood? Red blood cells. That is correct. In the title of one Robert Heinlein novel, a rocket ship is named for what famous Italian scientist and astronomer who was forced to recant his views before the Inquisition? Galileo. Galileo is correct. The first formal frog jumping contest was held in 1928 in what California county associated with Mark Twain's celebrated jumping frog? 
Calabaras County? That is correct. Take a look at the monitor, please, for a math question. What is the positive value of x in this equation? Need an answer. Nine. Nine is correct. Even if you don't know beans about coffee, you should know that the first coffee plants were grown in what African realm, whose modern capital is Addis Ababa? Need an answer. Zimbabwe. Ethiopia, looking for Ethiopia. Well done, Ashlyn. <laughs> Our final set of questions comes out of envelope one, and these questions are for John, Tina, and Greg, and they begin with this. When Julius Caesar was killed in Rome, his successor, Octavian, was still a student living in what other ancient city, now the capital of Greece? Athens. Athens is correct. In 1816, a London auction house sold, for the equivalent of several thousand dollars, a single tooth from the skull of what scientist who had discovered the laws of gravity? Newton. Newton is correct. It took one hour and 35 minutes for the first orbit of the Earth by what first artificial satellite launched by the Soviet Union in 1957? Sputnik. Sputnik is correct. This is a science question. Please look at the monitor. Which of these is the most important reason for using roller bearings in machinery? Reduced friction. That is correct. During World War II, General Theodore Roosevelt Jr., the son of former President Teddy Roosevelt, was the first U.S. general to wade ashore during what military event of June 6, 1944? D-Day. D-Day is correct. To build a fire may be easy for Boy Scouts, but it wasn't easy for a nameless man in the Yukon in To Build a Fire, a short story by what author of Call of the Wild? Jack London. That is correct. Take a look at the monitor for a math question. If x equals 2, what is the value of this expression, giving your answer as an integer? 30. 30. 30 is correct. Had you witnessed the Battle of Malwitz in 1741, you would have seen an Austrian army defeated by the forces of what German kingdom, then ruled by Frederick the Great? Prussia. Prussia is correct. In Highland, I believe you got the bonus. We're going to be back with our final and deciding grab bag round right after this. All men by nature desire knowledge. From the field to the supermarket and everything in between. Agribusinesses rely on the knowledge of Westfield Insurance. Represented locally by leading independent insurance agents, Westfield Insurance is very proud to bring you Academic Challenge because supporting youth is another way we're protecting your future. Mr. Purdue, I bet your chickens would enjoy corn dogs? Gladys, my chickens only eat an all-natural diet. That means no added hormones, steroids, or corn dogs. <laughs> Nice try, Gladys. Purdue, a healthy obsession with chicken. When your tub and shower area become frightening, you can spend the time and expense to remodel or have Bath Fitter give you a new look in one day. It's 8.15 and I'm off to work. Bath Fitter custom molds an acrylic tub that fits right over your existing one. We can even custom fit a seamless wall unit. I can't believe I'm enjoying my new bath. All this in one day. Call Bathfitter now to find out how simple it is to enjoy your new bathroom. Do you know a high school athlete who's great in the classroom, community, and in the playing field? Then nominate them for the McDonald's Student Athlete of the Week. Wednesdays at 6, we'll recognize an outstanding boy and girl. Log on to make your nomination. Brought to you by McDonald's. For academic challenge information on the web, log on to Newsnet5.com and click on Education. Welcome back to Academic Towns. Before we continue, we want to recap the scores at this point. In third place with 350 points, McKinley. In second place with 360 points, Ashland. And in first place right now with 495 points, Highland. It's time for the grab bag round, and in this free-for-all, each correct answer is worth 20 points, but a team will lose 20 points for a wrong or no answer. There will also be a few visual questions worth 30 points, but an incorrect answer will cost 30 points. Again, this is for all three teams. So everybody, hands on your buzzers, and let's begin with this. In 1939, Ernst Wright, Ernest Wright published a 50,000-word book that made no use of what vowel? Ashland. E. E is correct. Neil Armstrong was the first person to walk on the moon, but what man was the second? Highland. Buzz Aldrin. He is correct. President Kennedy once compared the combined talent of 29 Nobel Prize winners with that of what single president whose home was at Monticello? 
McKinley. Jefferson. Is correct. Take a look at the monitor, please. Here, the characterist Covarubius took aim at what macho image fostered by what author of A Farewell to Arms? Highland. Ernest Hemingway. Is correct. Gold and blue are colors of the football team at what Indiana University, whose sports teams are called the Fighting Irish? Highland. Notre Dame. Dame. Is correct. In unison, find the radius of a circle whose circumference is 16 pi. Highland. Eight. Eight is correct. Some Oklahoma universities are offering courses in the Native American language of what tribe that came to Oklahoma via the Trail of Tears? Highland. Cherokee. Cherokee is correct. Take a look at the monitor, please. Little Golden City on the Sea. This lovely description is of what independent Arab sheikdom that's the only Q-initialed member of the United Nations? Highland. Qatar. Is correct. Orbiting 157,000 miles above Saturn is what moon that's named for a two-faced Roman god? McKinley. Janus. Is correct. Saliva is mainly involved in the digestion of carbohydrates, protein, or fats. Ashlyn. Carbohydrates. Is correct. And in an 1831 message called the Fort Hill Letter, John C. Calhoun set forth what doctrine, which claimed that a state could rule a federal law invalid within that state. We're looking for nullification. Take a look at the monitor, please. This early 19th century painting shows Odysseus pondering escape from what one-eyed monster who had in Ashland. Polythemus. Is correct. In December 1865, former slaves celebrated Christmas knowing of the ratification of what number constitutional amendment that outlawed slavery in the United States? McKinley. 14th. 13th Amendment. Looking for the 13th Amendment. Metrostop Dostoevsky is the intriguing title of Ingrid Bengis' book about life in what's second largest Russian city? McKinley. St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg is correct. Though he had Rome in his name, Shakespeare's Romeo lived in what other Italian city also noted for McKinley? Verona. Verona is correct. We are out of time. Let's check the scores and see how we did this evening. In third place with 410 points, McKinley. In second place with 430 points, Ashland. And our winners this evening, stand up, Highland. You are our winners with 635 points. Congratulations. Be sure to join us next week as we feature teams from Berkshire, Lutheran West, and Pomatuning Valley. I'm Adam Shapiro. We'll see you next week for another academic challenge. Good night, everybody. been brought to you by Westfield Insurance. Cash Explosion Double Play. Buy a Cash Explosion Instant Ticket and you could be on it. Congratulations, you won $100,000. Cash Explosion Double Play. Saturday night at 7.30 right here. Cash Explosion Double Play. Your chance to win thousands. We're in the Champion Showroom, and that's the Comfort 365 Glass Challenge. Experience for yourself how our exclusive Comfort 365 Glass blocks the heat. Other windows don't. Take the Comfort 365 Challenge and save 33% off Champion windows and 10% or $1,500 off patio rooms. All Champion windows and patio rooms feature our exclusive Comfort 365 Glass. So now, the only real challenge is, how fast can you get here? I'm Chris. I'm Jim. Come in this weekend. And let us show you how easy a home improvement project can be. The light was yellow when I went through it, officer. May I see your license, registration, and proof of insurance, please? Uh, did you say proof of insurance? You do have insurance, don't you? Well, of course. I'm with Safe Auto. Driving uninsured is a crime you can prevent with one phone call. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, sir. Thank you, officer. 1-800-SAFE-AUTO. We keep you legal for less. Join Browns alumni for the Celebrity Cash Explosion Game Show. Get free tickets through this TV station, participating radio stations, and select Ohio Lottery retailers. Date rape. Teen abduction. Sexual assault. Every six minutes, a woman is attacked in the United States. Don't be one of them. 
I want to know what to do and how to how to handle myself. It's a wake-up call for all women, and we're on your side with simple self-defense techniques that women of all ages can learn to protect themselves and survive an assault. Something happened right now. I I could do something. Advice for women of all ages that could save your life. Sunday at 11 on News Channel 5.